Okay, we're just following up on our previous video in which we looked at multiplication and division with negative numbers. I first want to just quickly go over something that people do find confusing, and that is when are we looking at addition and subtraction, and when are we looking at multiplication. So let's just go over that. We're going to look at a whole lot of different expressions and make sure we know what they mean. The first one, this one here, negative 2 subtract 5, that's a very simple subtraction. In other words, it says, here we go, start off there at negative 2 and then take 5 steps backwards. So you start at negative 2 on the number line, you take 5 steps backwards and you'll end up at negative 7 on the number line. So just moving, picturing that movement on the number line as we did when we did addition and subtraction. Completely different is this question, which asks us to say, what's negative 2 multiplied by negative 5? And here we have to use the idea of a negative times a negative gives me a positive, and 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Now, this is the one that gets us nicely confused. And basically, here's the story. In maths, if you just write negative 2 in brackets and then negative 5 next to it in brackets, what that actually means and what it actually says is negative 2 multiplied by negative 5. And you'll see this as we get into algebra as well, that basically, that often in maths, that multiplication sign will be left out. And so if you write two brackets with numbers just next to each other like that, you mean multiply in maths. And so negative 2 times negative 5, we know, is equal to 10. But I want you to see very clearly the difference between this and this. This one is saying negative 2 subtract 5. And this one, because they're in brackets like this and written next to each other in brackets, it means negative 2 multiplied by negative 5. Let's just do one more example of this sort. 3 minus 5. That's a simple subtraction, right? Start at 3, take 5 steps back, you'll end up at negative 2. Here, the next one is very clear. 3 multiplied by negative 5. We've got a positive times a negative. We know our answer is then negative. 3 times 5 is 15. Here's the confusing one again. This is the mathematical thing of if you just write a number and then outside the bracket like that, what you're doing, it's just a quick mathematical shorthand. They've left out that multiplication sign. They mean to say 3 times minus 5 just another way of writing it and so the answer there is negative 50. All right, I want us to do two complicated examples just so that we make sure we can do anything that is needed to be done with negative numbers. We're going to include, of course, some exponents. So I just want to quickly check we can remember what exponents mean. So let's quickly pop down to the bottom of the page and check that you all know. 5 squared, right? What does that mean? It just means 5 times 5, right? 5 cubed would mean 5 times 5 times 5, right? You remember your exponents. Okay, so now let's look at this funny bit here at the top. Minus 3 squared and minus 3 squared. Is that and that different? Well, the answer is yes. In this case, minus 3 squared. It's just the 3 that is being squared. That minus is not involved. Whereas in this case, that whole thing, including the minus, is being squared. So what do we get here? This minus is just staying there. This 3 is being squared, so you have 3 times 3, right? Oh, that's a very ugly plus. Let me rewrite it. Um, Okay, then you're adding. Now, in this case, it's the whole thing, negative 3, that is being squared. In other words, what you've got is negative 3 multiplied by negative 3. So, can you see that how it will come out differently? In this case, you're going to get an answer of negative 9. 
And here you're going to have negative 3 times negative 3, negative times negative is a positive, you'll end up with positive 9. Now negative 9 plus 9 is going to give you very simply the answer of 0, because you're at negative 9, you take 9 steps up, you're going to end up at 0. Okay, here's a nice complicated looking monster. Try and do that for yourself in your homework books and then we'll go through together. Pause now and then we will pause now, work on it in your homework books and then we'll look at it. Okay, so you should have said, okay, you've got this negative here, that'll just stay. And then just like up here, this negative 4 squared means you've got negative 4 multiplied by negative 4. Negative times negative is positive. 4 times 4 is 16. Then, in this bracket here, you've got negative 9 over negative 3. Negative over negative is positive. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So you've got 3, oh, let's get a pen, 3 left in that bracket, but it still needs to be cubed. Cubed means 3 times 3 times 3, so that's 27. So now you've got negative 16 and you take away 27. In other words, you go 27 further down from 16 and you will end up at negative 43.